Welcome in guys, today we're going to be reviewing film, camera film, Yahoo, Polaroid 600 film, but now in color. We'll be hitting the topics of film and camera hardware, film compatibility, unboxing, a how-to instructional, history, pros and cons, and a real photo sample with the help of my gorgeous girlfriend. Let's get into it, coming in packs like this, some containing 16 photos, some in 40, others with a 96 photo count. This one though, this one's got eight. But it's post pandemic here in 2024, who needs the 50,000 photos your smartphone can take when you're out with your friends, you know how many memories you'll keep. Eight, eight whole memories. Anyways, the Impossible Project took over the Polaroid brand in 2017 and rebranded as Polaroid Originals, which then rebranded again in 2020 as just Polaroid. As for compatibility, this instant film works for iType, Polaroid Impulse, and vintage Polaroid 600 cameras like I have here. This is a Sun 600 LMS, and my mom gave me this, saying, Don't break it! And the camera was released in 1981, 43 years ago. A little known fact is that each film cartridge is actually a battery that allows for the functionality of flash, shutter, photo ejection, and etc. of the camera itself. Otherwise, the camera on its own has no way to be powered, besides having a photo cartridge like this. We went over some history, now for some personal history. These cameras and film were a staple and a pivotal moment in time through the 1980s, used at birthdays, sports events, sitting with friends playing Sega and Nintendo, roller skating, camping trips, and of course, pizza parties. And yeah, I'd ride my bike to Paul's house, grab a Capri Sun from the fridge, and of course, when I close the door, there's a Polaroid snap of when Paul ate on his skateboard. But even more so, their popularity gained huge traction again and again in the 1990s, and the late 2000s and 2010s with the rise and fall of the insufferable hipster movement and all the way until right now here in 2024. Polaroid has no reason to quit manufacturing this film in their cameras, meaning yeah, they're still manufacturing the Color 600 film. Moving on to the how-to instructional, as you just saw a moment ago, I pressed forward on the side latch to open the film door and this is where I'm halfway expecting some Legos to fall out and on the upper right of the cartridge, it reads, insert this side up, the same side that reads the PB to my jelly. So we insert the cartridge in the arrow direction printed. And don't be alarmed when you hear a loud crunch when you close the film door, you're not breaking it, hopefully. And you'll know when the top label ejects from the front of the camera, keeping all fingers safely away from the film ejection port. Nice, so remove and discard the label and we'll move on to shooting and after we can take a close look at the developed sample. Here you'll find the red shutter button which by default charges the flash for 5 seconds and directly under will be your flash override button to take a photo without a flash. The performance of the photos do much better and it's recommended to take photos in plentiful light so for this instance we'll use the flash. After the camera screams at you for using it, we'll get what looks to be a blank photo with a white frame, like this. As developing hard copies of photos takes care and preparation in a dark room, keep in mind you'll have to take a bit of care as well to keep the photo in a dark and cool area. If you're at the beach or out and about, hide them away from sunlight for a few minutes along with any pressure of a fingernail or objects that can scratch the surface because an initial scratch, although not visible at first, a simple scratch can grow and be really visible during the development phase. About five minutes later, voila. Although the box says 10 to 15 minutes, it actually takes about 30. And I've seen this photo take about 24 hours for even more vibrancy. Finally, we'll dive right into the pros and cons. As for the pros, you get instant photos that are authentically 80s. You don't have to slap on an Instagram filter for that cool retro look and you get a physical hard copy where you're given space to date it and write notes you could share the photos immediately which is cool and fun with friends and they come in multiple pack sizes also one positive that's not on the list is that the impossible project that became polaroid is providing a really genuinely cool service for people looking to continue taking vintage photos with that old school tech 
It's not a service anyone has to do, but certainly a service to those with a sense of nostalgia. And when we look at the cons, it's a bit slow, the resolution could be higher, and the price point can get a little steep. But I've seen people taking enough Polaroid photos that I also see it doesn't bother as many people as I might think. But let's move on to the final sample. We have a pretty epic retro looking photo with low contrast and upped brightness. Hopefully I've been helpful in your shopping experience. Try a pack of Color 600 film. Go take some cool photos. Happy snapping. Hey, it's me, Tiger. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.